It's along a path that people, you know, walk their dogs on and go jogging on. There's a playground where they take their little kids to. And so it's, it's people are just going to stumble on it, and they have been stumbling on it. And it's a very sort of accessible work of art. Like, you can walk right up to it. You can walk through it. You know, some people lie on the ground and, and look, look through the fabric up at the sky. It's just very, very interactive. And the wonderful thing about that place is that uh, as, the, as the, the weather changes and as the elements change, the piece will change. So if you went three times in a week, it would be different every time you went. I, I like to think of my work as, as collaborative. Um, I sort of collaborate with the elements and with wind and light. So, my, the, so I make things out of fabric and then they're animated by wind. But this project took collaboration to a whole new level because I uh, made a call for volunteers and got dozens of them who came and spent all week making these fabric sort of puffs that are sort of a cross between a wind sock and a tutu or something. Uh, and they're attached to rods and they sort of follow the wind and, and are animated by the wind. And so in addition to sort of collaborating with the elements and collaborating with the town art council, I was also collaborating with people from all over the Bay Area. I make uh, site responsive art installations that uh, are usually made with fabric and they sort of respond to and reflect sort of natural uh, forces acting on the landscape. And Tiburon has a lot of a lot of landscape and a lot of forces acting on the landscape, so it's a perfect place for my work. So this is sort of a new thing for me to make live installations that are meant to be viewed in person, so it's, it's very exciting for me.